hello guys welcome to my second android app tutorial in this tutorial we are going to understand some basics of android studio and android app development and i hope that you have uh, in successfully installed java jdk and android studio but in case if you are still facing any issue then you can obviously comment here anytime and i will try to resolve those issues as app so now we are going to proceed with our first android studio project so after installing android studio the first thing which you will which will come to your screen will be like this and here we are going to start a new android studio project uh, here is the application name which you can give anything like i am going to give it first application and here is a company domain which will be used in your play store url later when you will publish your application so you can give it anything like i i am going to give it again mtechviral dot in so it will be my package name in dot mtechviral dot first application so proceed with the next button and here are some of the factors your app will run on so we are not going to do wear tv android auto or glass and we are only going to develop our application for phone and tablets and uh, here is the first requirement is minimum sdk which will be the uh, lowest sdk which uh, your android app will support like uh, here it is api 18 which is android 4.3 jelly bean which means that your android application will support the jelly bean and the upper versions like uh, lollipop marshmallow and nougat you can change it later too and uh, you can select from here if you want to give any other version as a minimum SDK version. So I am right now setting it is as a API 18 which is Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. And I am proceeding with the next. And here are there are lots of activities which automatically provide by Android Studio by default. And uh, this can be very helpful when you will start developing your applications but for for the time being i think uh, we can start with an empty activity and i will going to press next i will tell all of them uh, about all of them later and uh, here is the activity name and uh, this activity name will be your class name and uh, we can change it as our requirement so i am going to name it as my activity and uh, it says that uh, do you want to generate layout file if i unclick it then then a below option will be lost and if i click it again then i can see that layout name file layout is basically the design part of your application where you will design your application in that layout uh, which will be an xml file so i am going to name it as activity slash i mean activity underscore uh, my activity and i am going to finish this project so it will take some time in finishing so after finishing the initialization which was done by gradle process i will talk about gradle process later and uh, uh, for the time being we are just uh, focusing on the basic things of android you can see on the left side there is a project thing if i click on this uh, the modules are now not visible and i if i click it again we can see the modules and uh, we are going to start with this module so there are basically two major modules app and gradle scripts we are going to understand about app first and uh, we will skip the gradle scripts for the time being so in app uh, there are three major directories which is and manifests java and res res is basically resources so i am going to explain about these manifests is basically uh, your applications global information like how many permissions will your application use what will be your activities 
and uh, details about your application so here you can see the main tag is manifest under that there is a sub main tag is application tag and uh, all your activities will be within this application tag so what uh, you are going to do here is android allow backup which is true which means that uh, uh, your application can be allowed as a uh, backup by any other application and uh, here is an icon which will be your launcher icon of the, your particular application label which will which will be your app name and the support rtl which means right to left so i will discuss it uh, later and there is android colon theme which will be your by default theme and uh, here is a uh, activity which we defined now uh, just before two minutes earlier so uh, here in this activity we have a uh, intent filter intent filter is basically action and category category says that uh, android colon name is android dot intent dot category dot launcher which says that this activity will be your launcher activity like from the menu when you click your application then this will be the launcher activity which means that this applic this uh, activity will open first so this is basically the android manifest class here in this uh, I, this is not class this is an xml file uh, so in this xml file you are also going to define your uh, permissions also like this so i am taking this uses permission and I can specify any of these permission like I am going to define android permission dot internet just for the time being to show you that what it does so this is basically the android manifest class uh, sorry xml and uh, I am going to uh, delete this for the time being so let's proceed with the java so this is basically uh, all your classes will be there in your java directory which will con uh, also consist of your android test class which we are not going to use for the time being we will focus on our main classes like my activity is our default activity and here we will perform basic operations like uh, uh, referencing the buttons text views etc and doing work on that so this is about java directory we will definitely talk about this later also so here is another directory which is res resources directory here is a sub directory which is drawable all the images which you are going to use in your application will be in this folder which is drawable folder it will also be subdivided into multiple folders which I will explain in our next tutorial and uh, here is another directory layout directory in which we will uh, define our layout files like this it is initializing and uh, here it is our first application and it is our text view of hello world uh, you will find hello world in a, every program so I am going to change this at I'm going to write it as Sunny Leone. So here it is, and uh, here another directory which is MIP map. It will consist of again it will consist of images, but it will be only your launcher icons. So launcher icons will be in this directory. Another directory is values, which will consist of some values like colors. Here you can define your colors in uh, the hex codes can be defined here so that you can use these resources later dimensions for defining the text sizes strings.xml here you can localize your strings which will be helpful when you can uh, call these strings from any of your activity or xml file and styles for defining your themes so this is it from this tutorial these are the basics of uh, android studio which will uh, help you in developing your application so i hope you have uh, understand these things and uh, uh, thanks for 
watching this video i hope you like this video so please comment here if you find any problem and uh, you can subscribe also and like and share with your friends too thank you